what is going on guys it's snowstorm here Um I apologize for any coughs you might hear during this video but I am ill at the moment that's why I haven't posted for a while uh, but I really want to get this this Titanfall video out it's just kind of my thoughts and feelings about the game instead of a re instead of a review I'll give my general impression about the game the good the bad and the ugly so let's start about with the ugly there isn't any ugly in this game only a few bad things so let's move on to those bad things um, for me, there's not enough customization. Not with the guns. I understand why there are so few weapons in the game, and I actually quite like it. Each gun does its job that it's required to do really nicely. There's no issues with overpowered guns, underpowered guns, guns that are exactly the same with a different skin, they have exactly the same stats, that kind of thing. However, the issue I have with the customization is the attachments. I would like a third slot for my gun, because at the moment all you've got is a sight and then a mod. I'd like uh, a second mod slot, really. Um, stuff like laser sights, really, because only the car has a hip fire improvement attachment, which is a uh, stabilizer, I think. Um, and stuff like accuracy bonus attachments, like the heavy power, that they increase the recoil, but you, you're more accurate at range. Um, and even things like scopes, which could like um, help you see through pilots' cloaks. I mean, I find it quite easy to see pilots that are cloaked, but other people might not be able to. <coughs> Um, I would like more attachment options, a bit like Battlefield 4 with the barrel the sight and the rail attachments. Secondly, it's not a big one, there's no pilot only mode. It would be nice as I do enjoy the Titans nearly as much so it's not a big issue but it would be nice not to have to worry about Titans <coughs> whilst you're running around as a pilot. Uh, and third, the, the jump kick. Um, I think it would be better if it was two hits and not uh, an instant one hit kill with the jump kick. I mean I do use it, um, but it's quite annoying when you're spraying someone down at close range and they just smack you in the face with their boot and you're dead. But that's pretty much all the bad really, so the good. The netcode is amazing. I, Even when I was on US servers I had no lag. The hit registration is absolutely flawless in this game and it's so nice after other recent games with horrible hit detection. I never feel like I shouldn't have died. I always know how I died and I had ample time to try and save myself, to try and shoot my attacker and I'm never shaking my head at how I died. It's really, really nice. Um, burn cards. They're, they're fun. Not a single overpowered one. Um, there's two that are really good. There's Ghost Squad which makes you constantly cloaked uh, and then there's um, I think it's the one I'm using right now, I can't really see, Adrenaline Transfusion I think it's called, where you're constantly stimmed so you move super fast, um, and this is a flawless gameplay as you can see, um, so I use this burn card to the, like to its full effect, but the thing is they last until you die, so it's a, a really high risk with some of these really rare ones, because you could put it on and then get shot from behind with a sniper rifle, and that's one of your rarest burn cards you wasted. Um, the Titans, <clears throat> I think they're I think they're pretty fun. Um, they really are. It's kind of like two games in one. You've got a fast-paced twitch shooter where you die really quickly, um, despite the fact that pilots have 200 health. It's just it's really quick, really fun, and then you pop into a, a Titan, and it's kind of a slow-paced shield management mech battle um, where you've got to try and manage your health. You've got to make sure you're not outnumbered two to one, three to one, that kind of thing. You've got to try and use your, you've got to kind of maneuver yourself a bit more skillfully. And they, the two, these two games intertwine perfectly. It's, it's surprising how, how much they intertwine. Um, and it's, it's, it's really nice. I think it's, um, I think it's a really good dynamic to put into the game. It's better than, it's, it's more than just COD with mechs. That's, that's, I hate, I hate that saying about this game because it is not. It is an entirely different game and it's a really, really fun game. The maps. The maps are really fun to play. Um, I haven't had a single map that I don't want to play when it comes up in the map rotation. Um, which I've never actually had in any first person shooter. There's always been at least one or two that I've just thought, oh, this is, I don't want to play this map. I'm going to go find something else. Um, and which is really surprising. They're, they're all perfect. They're all really well laid out with good free running opportunities and places to find your own path through the map. Um, and I've just realized this isn't a flawless gameplay. <laughs> so ignore what I said earlier. Um, 
Which moves me on to the free running aspect of the game. This is easily my favourite part of the game. The freedom to move is so rewarding. I have I have more fun hopping from wall to wall than actually shooting people in this game. You can literally just spend the whole game just hopping around from wall to wall to roof to roof and just having a real blast. It's it's an awful lot of fun. Um, and knowing how to free run and how to get across the map really easily is a great reward system because you can flank your opponents so quickly and so easily. Um, and it's it's a re it's a really fun dynamic into the game. Um, like you can find your own routes through the map. Like from the start, you'll you'll always have this specific place that you'll go to that, to get to the other side to try and rush your opponents, and it's really good. Um, and the last thing I'd like to speak about is the regenerations, which is um, kind of like prestiging in Call of Duty. Um, you gener you regenerate and you become a generation two. I'm currently generation two, but um, there's other ones. And then you've got specific challenges to re that you have to compete to require that require you to be able to generate to the next generation <clears throat> um, and you get a little XP bonus each each round each time you, you regenerate which is makes the grind a little bit less um, grindy <laughs> um, but that's pretty much everything I, I absolutely love this game I really think that you should download it and you can expect an awful lot more time for on this channel uh, I'm currently working on a montage because I've got some really good clips on it um, but that's pretty much everything. As you can see, I can't really see what I do, but I know I get one death and quite a lot of kills. So that's pretty much it. Um, so yeah, stay tuned guys, more time for the way. Bye!